Okay, hello. This is a quick video on how to clean a controlled ventilation unit of our house. It's a CW300 and uh, yeah, here's how I do it. See, that's the intake air, I guess. No, it isn't. That's the the air c coming back from the rooms. It's, uh, yeah, dirty as hell. And that's the intake air filter. It's also very gray uh, from the dust and the heating with wood in the neighborhood. And... Uh, we usually change them every three to four months. So this looks ridiculously dirty. I don't know what that is. Might be some... The, the brown color is interesting. I have to check that. Easy. So this is the heat exchanger. It's uh, made of aluminum sheets that provide a venting path from the inside air going to the outlet and uh, the heat gets transferred via the aluminum sheets to the incoming probably cooler outside air so this is probably very dirty as well and Next, we can just pull off these air ducts. These are styrofoam. Then the panel is clamped on like with two things behind you like this. Control unit. Um, you need to disconnect the ground wire here and here. And then the mains power connector. This one. So we can probably move out a little bit. So it's a good idea to take a picture just how things are connected here. Here we go. Should do. Well. Dust kit. Okay, and the benefit is uh, I can just now clean this in a yeah regular way in a in a basin with a sponge and some soap. And I don't have to take care about the electronics. Mm. 
The water should only be lukewarm, not hot, because there's uh, some glue connecting these things together and this gets uh, very soft when hot. While the heat exchanger is drying in the sun, we can assemble the ventilators again.
Now, first thing was this spring plate down here. Then the rotating magnet assembly. Well, probably these are coils, and I like to do. I like to apply just a little dab of silicone spray on this axle. Not much, just mm -hmm. a little bit. This goes into it like so. And also, this rubber ceiling gets some silicone spray. So, Electronics plate, notice uh, this has a protruding pin here and there is a single hole inside here and so and the other holes here need to align with these uh, mounting holes so we just wiggle it in place and here we go. That's it. So these were the long ones. Or that's a Torx twenty, by the way. That on my side, I did not mark the place of the ventilator, of the blowers. And so I did mark the connectors so that I know uh, where each one goes, like this. And this has a blue dot and this has a blue dot here, so that's this one and the other one as well, but I do not know whether they are in the right position. Okay, I was lucky. Connector X6 and X8 are the for the fresh air ventilation and connectors X7 and X9, so the odd numbers are for the used air ventilation. So that one in front of here is X9 and this goes to the lower one and this is and over here we have X6 so X6 um, uh, that's this one here so this one goes to the fresh air so I got it right you need to be lucky
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.